Demonstrations are taking place around the world to show solidarity for the protests in the U.S. In London, thousands of people gathered in Trafalgar Square with signs while chanting George Floyd. They then marched through the city, walking past the U.S. Embassy and the British Parliament. The demonstration defied the British government's ban of mass gatherings because of the pandemic. Police did not interfere. Well, we've seen for hundreds of years black people and people of colour be absolutely abused and killed on the streets and it's just getting worse and worse. We've had enough and if they're not going to listen, we're going to scream louder and louder and we're not going to stop until something is done. We've had enough. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! In Germany, protesters poured into the streets of Berlin chanting Black Lives Matter and I Can't Breathe. Some demonstrations in the German capital have turned violent. Police used tear gas and rubber bullets to restore order. And more than 2,000 protesters converged on the U.S. Embassy in Copenhagen. The peaceful march wound its way to the palace square as demonstrators chanted, No justice, no peace. And a more subdued demonstration in Iran, where students held up signs in solidarity. The supreme leader of the country tweeting, If you have colored skin, are walking the streets in the U.S., you can't be sure you'll be alive in the next few minutes. That is the racism of America. In a time that seems chaotic, there are powerful calls for people to come together to make changes. We leave you tonight with some of those poignant moments and a plea from a young black man who is sharing his emotional message through song. I'm Robin Gill. Thank you for watching. Good night. Today, we're asking our community for peace. But I want to be very clear, we are not asking you for patience, and we are not asking you for pacifism. We're asking you to take that energy and use it not to destroy our neighborhoods, but to destroy the historic culture, to destroy the systemic racism. Black lives! Black lives! We lost humanity on that day. And what we're doing right now in these protests, in these moments, as we risk ourselves in this pandemic, is fighting for humanity. Well, we use this as a moment to say that we will not do what other cities have done. And in fact, we will get better than we've been. And I urge you, and you know who you are, to think long and hard about what you can and should do to devote the passion and the energy that you showed last night in wreaking havoc in our city to doing something different with your life and your talents. I'm standing here because what I saw was my people face to face with this crowd and everybody's thinking how can we use force and diffuse it and I'm not having that. I'm not having that. But we're here peaceful. You have a right to be upset, to be scared, and to want to yell. I'm a young black man Doing all that I can to stand Oh, but when I look around And I see what's being done to my kind Every day I'm being hunted as prey My people don't want no trouble We've had enough struggle I just want to leave